It's me, Annabella Rose, your expert dating coach back from KarmaLifestyles.com. So a very warm welcome to another exciting video. I'm super excited about today's topic. Have you ever had that small pause in the bedroom and wonder whether she's also having fun? If you have had that thought, then trust your gut. She maybe wasn't having fun, and that's why you noticed. Bedroom game and intimacy is essential, and is an essential part of a relationship. Bad game in bed is kind of a deal breaker for most women. It is the only time that I can get confused by what I'm actually feeling and end up loving you more if the sex is epic. However, it's sad that most men learn the bed game from peers and silly stupid Hollywood movies. I'll let you in on a secret. What you see happening in movies stays in the movies. Don't try that stuff on a woman before you are sure that she's into it. We will look at what are her biggest concerns in the bedroom. Why I say bedroom, I mean your intimacy, and not the room. It's not like I want you to redecorate your bedroom. Eliminating her concerns in the bedroom can help you have more of an exciting and fulfilling intimacy and a great bed game. Do I look sexy naked? Women are very self-conscious when it comes to their bodies. It boils down to a lot of self-esteem and how confident a woman feels about herself. However, this is a personal problem and can have a massive and significant effect on your sex life together. We know that not all of us look like Victoria's Secret models during sex. I especially don't. It makes most women wonder how you see them in the bedroom. Does he still find me attractive now that I'm naked? Wow, he is touching my tummy. Is he trying to tell me something? Affirming it to your woman that she's beautiful every time can really help her boost her self-image. Also, some sex positions can actually trigger an insecure feeling because they're very exposed. Look for sexual positions that can be a little bit flirtier, a little bit easier for your woman's body. Make her feel like she's the most beautiful woman in the world and you can get the very best sex of your life. I'm not good in bed. During sex, each person has the need to satisfy the other person that they want to, but also satisfy themselves. However, most women are not as daring and as open as some guys are. That can be an issue for women when it's rooted their need to satisfy you. Men also send us non-verbal signals that shows us when they're enjoying the sex or getting over and done with the ritual. Now, when your signals are negative, the lack of confidence in the bedroom heightens. We know that most of us gauge our current sexual experience compared to our ex. Women also wonder if your ex is better than them. Create an environment that she feels confident. Give her sexual power to take charge sometimes. By doing that, you'll be building up her bedroom confidence and that can work a lot of wonders. Understand her sexual need and experience. It will help you know which areas that she's good at and where she feels comfortable and the ones that you need to work on. Focus on the confident ones first and then move on to the rest. What does he want me to do? Guys, did you know that sometimes women moan to heighten your sexual experience? Hmm. When you are at your peak, you give us your best. Selfless sex is the best sex because you aim on pleasing the other person more. However, when the thought is stuck in her mind, you will finish before she starts. Most women have anxiety in the bedroom because they do not know what you want. It even happens to couples that have been together for loads of time. Try and create an open space where you can talk about your sexual needs. Tell the other person what you like when they do it and what turns you off. Open communication in the bedroom eliminates anxiety and you'll be able to please the other person because you simply know what they want you to do. Not being absolutely present. One of the reasons that guys give for failing to give a woman an orgasm is that maybe her mind was elsewhere. That 
that's not far from the truth. When a woman is not fully aroused, her mind might be able to wander around a little bit, which is what you don't want it to do in the bedroom. It's an issue that a woman also battles with herself. She will then try too hard to be present in the moment and then somehow becomes absent. She'll start overthinking about all of her pending tasks, an annoying friend, or what you guys will have for dinner. Understand your woman and what turns her on. Women have a very different love language. Understanding her love language will help you get her to where you want her. It will eliminate those concerns that arise as a result of her mind wandering off. You have the power to eliminate all of her concerns in the bedroom. Understanding your woman and have an open conversation about what goes on in the bedroom will eradicate all of those problems. Sometimes all she's worried about is disappointing you. Assuring her that she's the very best will make her a lot more confident and she'll improve her sexual acts and her mind focus during it. Well, that's all for today, guys. Well, do not worry about the bed game because you need to check out my online program, The Sexual Master. I'm teaching you literally everything that you need to know to become the very best lover in bed. The Sexual Master is a five module step-by-step -step program designed to provide you with all the tools you need to become the very best lover in the bedroom. It's over five hours of training videos with me talking about sex, unlimited access, all backed up with exercise sheets to make sure that you learn everything to move your bed game up a notch or 10. Gents, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I, of course, have been Annabella Rose, and I will see you next time.